Hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com Guys, this is just one of the quick video where I will be explaining you how you can fix one particular issue which comes when you do this first time, when you run your first Selenium test or any test ng related test, you will get this issue called no compiler has been provided in this environment. So it can be fixed in two ways. So I will show you uh, one uh, which is can be done uh, from Eclipse. Second, which you can do uh, from pom.xml. Okay, so second solution will be the perfect because uh, you have to work on multiple environments also, right? Not only in Windows. So I will show you uh, different approaches and uh, step by step guide how you can do it. And I would prefer the second scenario. So let's do it one by one. So just to get started, I already have a Maven project you can see and I already have a pom.xml. In this pom.xml, I already have one Maven Surefire plugin. Okay. And you can see I am just running one testng.xml file. So this is just a basic test. And in this testng.xml file, I have only one test, which is test one, which is available here, which is printing just a demo test executed. So guys, uh, test complexity doesn't matter here you can write any complex test of your choice as of now the main issue here is how to fix the maven compiler issue so let me show you what exactly this issue is so in order to show this let me run this I will run this as a maven test so just select maven test let it build and as you can see it is giving you one failure it's actually failing the complete build. It says no compiler is provided in this environment. Perhaps you are running a JRE rather than a JDK. So the first solution is only applicable when you are working on Windows. Okay. So if you are only working with Windows, you can go with the first approach and you can continue. But let's say if you're working on different environments, let's say you're working with Linux, Mac or any other environment, then this solution will not be the perfect fit. But still I will show you how you can do it if you're working on Windows. Second solution which I will propose that will be applicable for all the platforms. Okay, so please watch the video till the end because that uh, approach is very effective. So the first approach go to Windows, go to preferences and you need to search for JRE. So you can see we have option called install JRE. And right now it is taking JRE uh, as a default. Let me uncheck this and let me add a new JDK so you can see it is JRE type so you just click on standard VM click on next now it is asking you give me the JRE homes so we are going to provide JDK directory actually because when we run maven build it looks for the JDK so right now Java is installed in my program files Java and this time I will select JDK which is the one which I have in my system. So once you select JDK, you can see all these necessary libraries got imported and I will click on finish. Select this checkbox, click on apply and click on apply and close. Okay. So this time we have given that our project is referring to JDK, not only JRE and JRE anyways is a part of JDK. So right click run as Maven test and let's see the output so this time it should not throw any error and you can see our test started it is running one dummy test that we have created again test complexity doesn't matter you can write n number of scenarios different scenarios as well it totally depends on an xml file perfect so this scenario you can give a try in windows but if you're working on let's say linux or mac then this thing will not be suitable for you because you will not get these options to uh, you know, change the JREs. So let's use one plugin called Maven Compiler. So let's use one plugin called Maven Compiler. Compiler plugin. So when you use this plugin, you will see you will get the first option. Click on the first option and this simply says this compiler plugin is used to compile the source of your project. So this plugin actually has two goals. Okay. And if you see the usage part, they have given the complete usage, how you can use it. So you can use uh, with four options. Okay. 
compiler using a different JDK, compiler using source and target Java C, using memory allocation and compiler argument. Let me open the first one which is what we need. So if you come back here, you can see one option that we need to use one plugin Maven compiler plugin and the very important part is we need to provide the Java executable path here. Can you see this? This is the main part that we need to focus on. So I'm going to copy this plugin directly from official website. So you don't have to refer any other document. Just go to their official site, copy this documentation and come back to your poem.xml file. So this is the poem.xml file which we have guys. And we already have one plugin which is Surefire plugin which is running our testng.xml file. Now let me also add another plugin which is Maven compiler plugin. So don't make much changes. Uh, first of all, this is optional. If you don't want to provide the compiler version specific, remove it because just now we have only one uh, version. So it will take the latest one. This path, you can see we need to give the exact Java C path. So if I talk about in my system, if I go back to my C drive program files, Java, JDK, bin so you will find java c which is java compiler so you can give the path till java c okay and if you come back here they also recommend that you should not follow this strategy you should follow the environment variable okay that i will come back to this point so as of now we are telling that in this location we have a java compiler so now whenever you run, it is not depending on your Eclipse configuration automatically. It will take the Java compiler from the specified location and it will continue with your test. So it's working fine. But guys, if you notice here, there's a small, I will say not a bug, but you can say it will create an issue for you. Because right now, let's say I'm working on JDK 1.8.0.162. You might be working with a different build number. Let's say JDK 1.8.0.221, 231 or 211. So again, you need to keep on changing this, right? So if you don't want to change this and you want Java or you want Maven to take this Java versions automatically, then as they have mentioned, you can use the environment variables. Okay, so if you uh, open CMD, okay, so if you remember when we installed Java, we have set one variable called Java underscore home, right? So the moment space hyphen version, it is giving me Java version because I have set the path variable Java underscore home. So now the same thing we need to do here instead of hard coding this part, okay, we can just tell our poem.xml that our java underscore home path okay so it will take the java underscore home which is the java home actually then it will go to bin folder then it will look for java compiler okay so now no need to hard code this and this is the best solution guys this will work with every platform and different java versions which you have so let's say if you have multiple java versions okay so it will pick the latest one in case if you want to change the specific version okay you can just add one more argument called compiler version and you can give the specific compiler version as well so just run this once again and uh, guys you can see start throwing one error that's fine that's a temporary issue the moment you update the project that error will disappear yes you can see this now it's gone so just run your test once again. Uh, so again, I will say MVN test and as usual, it is not going to throw any compiler er compiler error. Okay, because we have set the Java compiler path. I keep getting multiple requests that how to fix this error. So I thought let me create a dedicated video because it's a very common error that you will get once you create your first project, first Maven project and when you run your first build. Okay, so this is the very common exception or the compiler error which you will get. 
Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Uh, in case if you find any issue or any difficulty, let me know in the comment section. And uh, in case if you want to send an email, my email is mukesh at learn-automation.com. So if you like this video, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.